Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody sent me this photograph. I actually, actually asked them if they had it in Corel Draw, if they'd already done the trace, and they said they had it in DXF, but they never sent it to me, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a video on how you could do this, and, and uh, I did this one right here. Let's bring in this other picture. It's actually a little better. Um, I actually redrew this one. I might make a second one video on that, but I tr uh, traced this right here, and it looks pretty good. Actually, I traced this one. But his, his real question was how to make a bigger border around the item. So we're gonna make a duplicate of this and move it out of the way. And then we'll move this one out of the way. And whenever you, you only need to do one at a time. So we're gonna do, which one did I do already? Well, that's sad, I can't even find that one. Where's the one I did? Oh, here it is right here. So there's the clear copy. So it is, which one did I do? I think it's this one right here. But we'll do, we'll do this one again. And this is pretty easy, but whenever you crop something out, because you've only want one of those, make sure it's selected. Because if you don't have it selected, it will erase everything else on your page. And then just crop this out. That way, Corel doesn't have to work on everything else. It doesn't have to worry about it. And this thing is only six inches tall, so we don't need to do anything else with it. We'll go to bitmap and resample, and we'll make it 300 dots per inch. And this is just like any trace. Uh, we're going to convert it to a bitmap. We're going to convert it to black and white because it is black and white. We're going to do trace, outline, trace, clip art. Yours is going to be under bitmap, outline, trace, clip art. And we're going to trace this thing. Now, it traces pretty good. It's already done. Your trace should be on the top. And to make the border bigger, and it did a really good job of tracing it, there's a few little jigs in it, but who's going to really know? So what you do is ungroup it, and we'll take it all, and we'll left-click, right-click, and you get an outline. So now... How can you make that outline bigger? That was his real question. Well, what we need to do, you just can't take the outline, I don't think, because it's part of it. And actually, it's double um, part of it. And these are individual, so we could use this. So what you could do is you could select all that, go up to object and group it together, holding down the shift key and double click on your rectangle button. And that's gonna give you a rectangle. Now, let's see if the center of the page is kind of clear. And we're gonna put this thing in the center of the page. And because I had it in a group, it stayed there. Now I'm gonna take it and ungroup it for just a second. And you should be able to take this rectangle and just expand it. But for some reason, even holding down the shift key and making it grow from the center, the sides and the top are a little bit different. Maybe, you know what, we'll try, let's hold down the control in the shift key and see if that doesn't work and that doesn't work. So what you can do, this thing is only two and a quarter inches, so we'll make it three inch nudge factor. We'll take this and we don't have to move it out of the way, but let's go to effects and contour, contour to the outside a half of an inch and the, well, that's actually too much. Forgot how little it was. Let's go 0.25 and make it square corners. So now you have a bigger outline. That might be too big, but you can go to uh, object, break contour apart, and then just hit P and put it in the center of the page. Get rid of this contour. And now you have a bigger border. Now that might be too big. I'm going to, this is, when you look at something like this, this is a certain pattern. 
it's an easy pattern. You could draw this and make them uh, perfect or better looking, have less uh, the way it traced. So maybe stay tuned for part two, and I'll show you how very easily you could draw this. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you.